Thank you, everyone. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, my name is Anna Krasa, and I'm here with uh, Jessica Kram. Together, we are excited to talk about something very, very special, our amazing Moodle community. This session is titled Celebrating Community Heroes and Future Plans for the Moodle Community. And we want to take this opportunity to recognize the people who make Moodle so successful, from the developers who contribute code to the educators who create courses, to all of you in this room, everyone plays a part in making Moodle what it is today. So we are here to celebrate those contributions and give you a glimpse into our future plans. Uh, we have a lot of, to cover, so let's dive in. Here is the uh, quick over, uh, outline of our session. We will start with an overview of the Moodle community, covering Moodle Academy, Moodle Qualifications, Moodle.org, and Fund.Moodle. Uh, next, we will highlight some community heroes showcasing their contributions, and then we will talk about our future plans. So let's begin with Moodle Academy. Uh, Moodle Academy is the learning hub for our community. It's where you can upskill, earn badges, and even purchase program uh, certificates for a small fee. It's an essential resource for anyone looking to grow their skills within the Moodle ecosystem. Through Moodle Academy, you can attend webinars uh, hosted by community members, watch past recordings, and complete self-paced courses. And of course, you will find programs of short courses to help you get ready for the Moodle qualifications. Now, qualifications, what are they? Moodle uh, has rebranded its professional development programs for, from certifications to qualifications to offer a clear, globally recognized credentials. So the Moodle Educator uh, Certification, the MEC, is now the Moodle Educator Qualification, MEQ. And in 2025, we are launching the brand new Moodle Administrator Qualification. And why get qualified? Well, Moodle qualifications are more than just a formal recognition of your skills. They are a strategic career investment. By earning a qualification, you validate your expertise and demonstrate your commitment to professional development, which can significantly enhance your career prospects. Whether you are an educator or an administrator, these qualifications empower you to internationally empower you with internationally recognized credentials. And let's move to Moodle.org which is uh, the center hub for our community. It's where you can join discussion forums, access documentation for teachers and admins, and download the latest versions of Moodle. You can also explore demos of latest features, report bugs or suggest improvements through the tracker, and access development documentation. Plus, Moodle.org offers you access to the translations so you can download language packages and use Moodle in another languages than English. Fund.moodle.org is a new way for individuals and organizations to contribute to Moodle's development. You can support general development or help fund specific initiatives guided by Moodle LMS Community Product Advisory Group. There are many other ways to contribute to Moodle as well, making it easy for anyone to get involved and make a difference. Now, with that, I will hand over to Jessica, who will take us through some of the incredible contributors of our community heroes. Thank you, Anna. Um, so Moodle wouldn't be Moodle without the following contributions from so man many members of our community. We couldn't possibly thank everyone here today, so we're going to highlight some key contributors in these areas and explain how you can get involved as well. So our forum posters and moderators answer questions and moderate the discussions on Moodle.org in our com community forums. There are forums available in over 30 languages on Moodle.org forums. Our particularly helpful Moodlers, PHMs, have a badge which is awarded to people who have written a lot of useful forum posts on Moodle.org. And it's determined by our community members who rate those posts. So PHMs may be experienced Moodle admins or teachers, Moodle partners or Moodle HQ members. You can become one too. At least one forum reply, um, you need to have at least one forum reply marked as useful in the last six months and over 14 forum posts marked as useful by more than eight people and a high ratio of useful ratings to replies. We have a number of PHMs we'd like to mention today. 
although there are many more. So we'd like to thank Howard Miller, Ken Task, Dag Klimas, Leon Stringer, Gareth Barnard, Shirley Gregoritz, and Joost Elhos, Elshoff, and many more. And I will apologize for my pronunciations of some of the names today. Hopefully I get most of them right. So our language pack maintainers and translators ensure that Moodle's user interface can be understood by people from all around the world, regardless of the languages they speak. Over 2.7 million sentences have been translated by community members on lang.moodle.org. Kuhn Rogerman is uh, one such Moodle, translation, um, Moodle translator. He's actually the coordinator and has been for many years supporting all of the language pack maintainers on lang.moodle.org, mentoring new language pack maintainers. And he's also um, the maintainer of the Dutch language pack and a particularly helpful Moodler. Our Moodle Moots are conferences, like local versions of this one, that have been run globally since 2004. Thank you to all our local Moodle Moot coordinators for their work in organizing a Moodle Moot in their region, offering the community locally the opportunity to connect with peers, explore ideas and learn from one another. This year alone, we will be running 20 local Moodle Moot conferences around the world as a community. And you can find out more about your next local Moodle Moot on moodle.org. The Moodle Users Association, MUA, connects users around the world and raises funds for additional development. Since 2015, the MUA has funded 12 Moodle LMS projects um, of over 400,000 Australian dollars. The Moodle Association of Japan, the MAJ, promote the research, education and development of Moodle and its related systems. The association provides a community for Moodle users in Japan to learn and teach about using Moodle in their institutions. And there are so many other informal groups around the world who meet locally to discuss and support Moodle. I couldn't possibly mention them all, and there are so many that I don't know about. So if you would like to get in contact with me to tell me about um, how you are working locally with community groups. Um, I'd really love to hear about your uh, groups and how we can get other people involved in those. Unfortunately, my email address is missing, so my email is jessica at moodle.com. Tom Rowson has been a Moodler since 2008 with key positions in the MAJ and has published many research papers He's a member of the MUA as well and helps organize the Japanese Moodle Moots and relaunched and updated Japanese Moodle Docs. He also contributes in the Tracker and Moodle.org forums. We're very excited to announce that Tom is actually joining the Moodle community team full time from February next year. Our Moodle user docs editors and coordinators help update documentation so community members can help get help to use the different features of Moodle and its plugins in multiple languages. There are user docs in over 14 languages. Nicholas Martignoni is a maths and computing lecturer and has been using Moodle since 2003. He helps coordinate the francophone Moodle Moots, maintains the French language pack and created MoodleBox, the offline Moodle installation. Nicholas also helps with QA testing and is a particularly helpful Moodler. Now I'll try and say this right, Severin Terrier um, works at University Toulouse and is the administrator for several Moodle sites. He assists Nicolas Martignoni to maintain the French language pack for Moodle and edits the French Moodle documentation and he's also another particularly helpful Moodler. And for over 10 years, Herman has been a Mexican Spanish language pack maintainer and a regular prolific contributor to Moodle Docs both in Spanish and English. He's also been recognized as a particularly helpful Moodler. Herman is actually here at Moodle Moot Global this year. So you can say hi, he's actually in the room. So if you wanna turn around and say hi to Herman. <laughs> and Vis Vanath is um, someone you may recognize the name of as well. He's a long-term particularly helpful Moodler for 11 years now contributing more than 14,000 forum posts in this time. He's moderated the forum on hardware and performance for three years 
and he's also the maintainer of the Sinhala language pack. Gisela Hillenbrand works at Offenburg University in Germany and since 2006 has contributed to translating the German language pack and since 2008 has managed the German versions of Moodle Docs. We also have plugin contributors and guardians. Contributors share their code to grow the Moodle LMS feature set so the Moodle community can extend the functionality of their sites and plugin guardians peer review plugins submitted to the Moodle plugins directory and help consider considerably with the plugins approval process. More than 1,200 developers have contributed over 2,200 plugins on Moodle.org plugins. Dan Marsden is someone you probably recognize as well. He works for Catalyst, our Moodle premium partner, and also um, sponsors of this conference, and he's based in New Zealand. He goes above and beyond his partner duties by regularly uh, responding in the Moodle.org forums, especially about SCORM, and by reviewing and supporting contributing, contributed plugins. Dan is also a particularly helpful Moodler, and he's here as well today at Moodle Moot Global 2024. Thank you, Dan. Marcus Green works for Catalyst as well as a senior e-learning technical consultant. He's contributed 11 plugins in the plugins directory and is a long-term, particularly helpful Moodler. His current focus is on Moodle and AI. We also have developer docs editors and they help other developers learn how to write, test and update plugins and core code for Moodle LMS. Our top con community contributors are Luca Bosch, Mark Johnson, Philip Memmel and Neil McGill. We have more than 100 editors and um, they have contributed over 800 pages of editor of uh, developer documentation for five different Moodle versions. Our QA testers review the functionality of Moodle before each major and minor release to ensure everything works as intended. 51% of the tests in our last Moodle QA cycle for Moodle 4.5 were completed by Moodle community members. Thank you to our regular QA testers, Luigi Sansonetti, Nadav Kavalik, Doug Klimas, Jean-Marc Doucette, Michelle Lohman, Joseph Brazau, and all our Moodle testers in the Philippines, plus many, many more. A.L. Rachels is a retired Moodle admin, US Army helicopter instructor pilot, and computer teacher based in the USA, who is also a particularly helpful Moodler. He has done lots of QA testing over the years and maintains several contributed plugins, including Content Pages, Hot Question, MooTyper, Diary, and Skype. Moodle Academy hosts many webinars and courses who are presented by community members just like you. So far, we've worked with 20 course creators and 77 webinar presenters. And we also have community, community members promoting our courses to their own networks and local communities. If you want to get involved, you can go to our Moodle Academy Get Involved course to nominate yourself or someone else that you would like to hear from. Tim Hunt is another name you probably recognize. He's worked with Moodle since 2005 and is the Moodle quiz maintainer. He's been a particularly helpful Moodler for over 10 years and has helped write Moodle's technical documentation. He's also authored a book chapter about Moodle. Tim contributes to over 30 plugins in the plugins directory and is the highest contributor to Moodle core code who doesn't work for Moodle HQ. Asteria Maranto is the head of sector knowledge management center at European Union Agency for Law Enforcement Training or CEPOL. She proposed the, the use of Moodle Academy educator programs to build the CEPOL digital competencies training and certification dedicated to the law enforcement community. She also helped to author the Moodle Academy webinar on improving course quality with templates, which you can access from Moodle Academy. Anastasia um, is a instructional designer, e-learning and learning um, and development specialist, and she actively promotes Moodle Academy, introducing it to new users. I think it's actually Anastasia 
was amongst the first Moodle Academy guest presenters who co-authored the Introduction to Instructional Design course and webinar with members of the Moodle Academy team. We also have translators on Moodle Academy who translate our course content and also our webinars into other languages. Since developing a custom translation plugin and launching our translation course in June 2022, Moodle Academy has had 152 users um, representing 35 languages qualify to become Moodle Academy translators. If you're fluent in English and a second language, just complete our Translate Moodle Academy course and we'll give you access to translate our content as well. Gemma Lesterhus is owner of Lesterhus Training and Consultancy, a Moodle certified partner who supports the Dutch speaking community in using Moodle LMS. Gemma translates many of the Moodle Academy courses into Dutch and is a PHM on Moodle.org. Gemma is also a committee member of the MUA. We also have many people helping as research study participants who help to improve the user experience of Moodle by contributing to research studies to help us build a better Moodle. Thanks to all our research study participants who have helped us in this way. You can sign up for this at Moodle.org Experience Lab. So thank you to all our other contributors. There are so many more that we couldn't mention today, um, but we really appreciate everything you do for Moodle. And now I'm going to hand back over to Anna, who will tell you about our upcoming Moodle community plans. Thank you. So thank you, Jess. Uh, now let's dive in into what's next for Moodle community, including some exciting updates and future plans. Uh, looking ahead, we are focusing on improving navigation Moodle.org and we are studying how community members use the site, whether it's to get help, contribute, download Moodle or plugins, or find partners and products. Our goal is to rethink the main navigation to make it easier for both new and existing community members to quickly find the information they need. For uh, Moodle Academy, we are also introducing a new navigation system. We leverage Moodle Workplace custom page and the course catalog to offer quick, intuitive access to key areas while, while highlighting new services like upcoming qualifications. We are also revamping the home page. The aim is to make important actions clear, modernize the look and improve how new users navigate the content. And as always, we want our users involved in the process. So you can sign up via the experience lab at mood.org slash experience lab to help guide our de decisions. Looking ahead, the future of Moodle qualification is both exciting and expansive. Uh, in 2025, we will launch the Moodle Administrator Qualification, MAQ, designed for administrators who want to validate their expertise and continue advancing their careers. This qualification follows Moodle development and progress, and it is essential that it stays in alignment with new features and functionality. That is why a recertification process will be also introduced so holders of the MAQ will be able to renew their qualification every two years by taking a short course that will ensure their skills are up to date. But we are not stopping there. After the MAQ, we will develop the Moodle Developer Qualification, MDQ, which will be tailored specifically for Moodle developers, allowing them to showcase their skills and deepen their mastery of the platform. With these qualifications, we're expanding the professional pathways available within Moodle ecosystem, creating opportunities for everyone to excel. So, if you are inspired to contribute to Moodle, it's easy to get involved. Just visit our Get Involved page at moodle.org, Get Involved, to learn how you can help. We are also looking for volunteers for our next Global Mood. So, if you are interested, simply email us at moodglobal at moodle.com to register. So, any questions?
seems that everything was clear. <laughs> uh, I have a question. Uh, being Moodle so big as it is, uh, because we even have the matrix and telegram chats, how is it possible to connect all together and keep, uh, I know most of us probably know the people that you mentioned, of course, but it's really hard to follow everything what's going on. What are your plans on that? Um, we'd like to uh, bring together the different local community groups that are operating that we, we don't really know about and make it easier for people to join so that they can um, go and communicate with people in their area. Um, you couldn't possibly follow everything that's going, um, that's happening on Moodle.org. So we suggest that people go in and look at their interest areas and see how they can contribute to supporting others. Uh, you can ask questions in the forum. That's a really great way to get started. And I think that's how most of us find the Moodle community in the first place is through Moodle.org forums. So if you get stuck, you're not alone. There's a whole world of community out there to help you um, with your issues. So you can post your question and um, you'll often get a, a quite a fast response. Um, so yeah, does that answer your question? Okay. If there are any other ideas though, we'd love to hear about them. So you can email me um, and we can consider how we can better support you.